Hey, well, I'm Tomo 64 here, and today we're going to continue on some more Crash Twitch said for the PlayStation 2. Now, we're here in Classroom Chaos. Oh my god. Don't even get me start on the music in this level, for Crash's portion at least. Because, good. Oh my god. Like, you know what? You no, know I'm, I'm gonna just let the music play. Okay, I think I got enough enough of it by now. But real quick. Woohoo! Air Crash Bandicoot is back in action. But yeah, we're back with one of these stealth segments. Oh frick, I got caught in a locker. I'm not gonna risk going all the way over there. Alright, let me stop. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god. At least the stuff like the stuff in this is not like the one in back in like uh Totem Hook'em. But it's just like regardless of that, the music is just so there's so much life into this freaking music. Like in this game in general, but especially the music. Oh my god. I'm sorry, but it's just it's my favorite thing about this game. Like the soundtrack is action packed. You feel the game's actions through the music. And the fact that it's in a uh, mostly off like a cappella, I, I almost messed it up again. But it's like the fact that it's mostly a cappella, it just oh good freaking lord, how? And the fact is that this game I've said this a million times, but I think you guys I think you guys get the idea by now, but like it's the fact that this game isn't even what it could be. It's not its final form. Like, just literally, how does a game manage this? If this game came out, was it in like in today's time, this would never survive. Oh god, it lagged. Ah! This game would have been chewed out for weeks, weeks for the game that it that it was back that it would have been if this game came out today. And that's for and it's for good reason, cause like. This game definitely would not does not live up to modern standards in terms of content and quality. But when we're talking about when it came out at the time, when we're comparing it to like other games in the series, it's like, bro, how? It's literally magic in its own right. There's a good reason why I'm spinning those, because I feel like, especially after Totem Hook'em's like B segment, I really can't risk touching those again. There's a third one? I only thought there was two of them. Oh god, the camera. I thought there was only two of these segments, not freaking three. All right, but it doesn't matter. This is, this is still just as easy. Yeah, for these, you have to crouch because like you can only hide behind the very last one you're like right in front of. You can't assume that it will actually hit. The reason why I hide again is that sometimes, especially on the Xbox version, if you're not crouching by the time, I mean, if you're not hiding really, by the time you get at that point, you can still die. Cause like, he technically detected you on that one frame. All right, there's a skip I want to talk about later, but I'll just do it the, I'll just do it the legit way for now. If I die, then we'll talk about it. But this section here with the rising goop, bruh, it's just like more that asses. Cause like, it's technically a chase sequence, but you're having to pick up the pace on this. Obviously, making sure you don't touch insta death. I'm dead. <laughs> but, like, oh my god, at least I got Aqua Aqua back. But it's like, good lord. And the cool part is, the camera does actually correct itself at times. So, that's another big bonus about this game's camera. At times, it's still an old game. You know what? You know how it is with old games. But, oh my god, there was. There, this, like, levels like these, the ones I really enjoy, just sum up how I feel about the game as a whole. 
and just do so much justice with it. But it sucks because the injustice on the fact that it's not a complete game just kind of ruins it. Okay, I know there's a gem somewhere in here. I just gotta remember where I'm supposed to pick it up. I don't know what happened there with that explosion. No! I gotta go all the way back down here. Good lord. I'm not gonna skip it. Like, if I die again, I'll skip. But yeah. Like, other than that, it's just this whole sequence is. I'm probably dead. Oh, yeah, I might be dead. Uh, this might be a GG's. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I just don't know. Like, is there like a count? Like, I gotta, ch I gotta look this stuff up. Cause like, even I don't know this stuff. You know, I ain't the grand, I ain't like the grand like informant when it comes to the Crash series. But it'd be cool if I was. Not gonna lie. Like, it'd be really freaking cool if I was. But that kind of stuff will take some insane amounts of research. Like, no pun intended this time. Come on, I was shooting! Oh yeah, and when you do press the circle button, all you get is just this really weird slide. I have not seen any real instances of this being useful outside of maybe dodging the last hits of the final boss. But I won't get into that until we actually get there. So yeah, be careful, because like the fact that this does automatically aim is that you could end up hitting like something like a TNT or a Nitro and you won't even know it. But once you hit max ammo, you might as well just spam. There's no consequence on doing this, and you prevent yourself from getting hit by Nitros, TNTs, and other form of insta-kill moves. Yep, for Cortex, it's still insta-kill too. You're not safe. Just be careful not to hit something that's like right on your side like that. It just feels so weird, like I'm invincible, but I gotta avoid touching some Nitros. Okay, I think this is the final section before the part where we really get to meet a new character. I won't go into the discussion on that until we until after the cutscene that plays, but it's gonna be nice, because like unfortunately that's where we also end the video, but at least we get to see what the character will look like. Like, I'm waiting, and it's not doing anything. So I'm guessing it's by a certain amount of enemies. Like, this will be so much, like, this will be so much clearer if we had some kind of actual indicator on this, but, you know, we don't. So, we just gotta live with that. Cortex section is pretty simple and straightforward when it comes to getting all the gems. Oh yes, here we go, here we go, it's time. Sleep soundly, Nina, and don't fear the night, with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite. Under the covers, there's no need to hide, for your uncle's a monster, and he's on your side! <laughs> Nina, my adorable young niece, my, my, you're getting big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. I see they need some adjustment. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. Alright, I, I should stop this, but I'm gonna wait until I get the world checkpoint first. Once I hit a world checkpoint, that's where I'll stop. Okay, there we go. Sorry, y'all, I thought it would be a little longer than that. Alright, so, and that's where we're we'll taking care of road, Rooftop Rampage with a new character, Nina Cortex. I love the artwork they got with her going in the pause screen. But, anyway... Yes, I told you the first one now, of course. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, stay insane, and most importantly, most especially because of this new character, stay warped. Stay warped!